We watched the movie two days before it actually comes in theaters. Versus two like, years. Oh. Versus two years after it comes in theaters when it hits streaming and we're like, we don't have to leave the house to watch this. Pretty now exciting. We'll watch it. Now we're going places. Which I guess is a good thing. Pride Month Fangoria shirt. Pride Month Fangoria shirt. Happy Pride, bitches. Love you, bitches. Uh. guys, welcome to our channel. We are Reanimator Reviews, and we actually got to attend an early screening of The Watchers, which was super awesome. Love that opportunity for us. Usually we get a lot of uh, streamers that we can watch at home, so it was like a whole different experience actually going somewhere and getting a sneak peek of a brand new movie. Thank you to the Farsight Network. Thank you so much. We really, really appreciate it. Thank for, you, thank you, thank you. For this wonderful opportunity forcing me to get out of my house. And on a school night. Yeah. It is Wednesday night. It is the 5th? It, it is, is the 5th. It's the 5th. So, this film is brought to us by M. Night Shyamalan's daughter, Ishana Night Shyamalan. And it is based off of the book also called The Watchers, which was written by A.M. Shine, which I am so intrigued now to read or, in my case, listen to an audiobook if it's available just because reading is a little difficult with uh, these eyes. But um, talking about this, giving a spoiler-free review is going to be very challenging. It's very difficult. Just because I feel like the trailer doesn't give you very much to work with and anything. Yeah, we don't want to spoil anything for anyone, you know, take the, the fun out of the movie. Um, from the trailer, we do see that there's four individuals that are in this weird tiny house, pretty much, with um, no plumbing, as we find out. It's like a reptile cage. It is like a reptile it's like cage. It's just with the, the front glass. Yeah. And then the rest are concrete walls. Yeah, and it's the the one-sided two-sided mirror? I always get those confused. Yeah. You can see yourself, but they can see you. Like, the thing that they warn you about in hotel rooms where you're supposed to put your finger on the the mirror to see if there's, like, like a the mirrored person. glass. It's like the mirrored glass inside a police interrogation room. I don't know anything about that. I'm concerned that you know things about that. Oh, I'm on the other side of the class. <laughs> so, um, what we get from the trailer is that uh, these people have to follow a set of rules to not um, aggravate or incite the watchers, and they just seem like kind of uh, voyeuristic creeps that, like, why are they watching? Yeah. Why do they have so many rules? Like, who's conveying the rules to the people that are inside but you definitely get the vibe that it's either you know some like angry humans or monsters or aliens or who knows what that's on the other side of the mirrored glass and uh you they 100 percent let you know what it is eventually in the movie uh i feel like just the the atmosphere it creates was really really cool um the forest that surrounds where they are they call it um what did they call it is it, was it the coop yes yes the, coop. The, the little thing they're in they refer to as the coop yeah which is kind of funny because our main character nina yes has a yellow bird inside a little like bird cage like an so, old-timey bird cage yeah, yeah like the yeah like the, like the wired ones that tweety bird would be in yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It me immediately made me think of. Um, so yeah, as to not spoil anything about this movie, it's the ambiance of it is very good. It, it scored very well. Yeah, the the score was great. It was it was it the the music in the movie really added to the setting that they were trying to go for, the creepy ambiance kind of thing of it. So it's you know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be hard to talk about stuff about this movie because the trailer gives you really not a lot, 
but um, I guess we'll try to be very vague on what we liked about the movie. So, I did really like the pacing up until probably the last... I don't know, maybe it was 15, 20 minutes of the movie. I thought that... I was concerned that it was going to be like a really, really, really slow burn and we weren't going to really get anything for a while. But it does open up with like a pretty good action sequence. And then there's like very minimal um, character backstory. But they do, you know, build up the characters fairly well, I felt. And you do like feel something for at least one or two of them. Um, I like that, uh, I don't know, I, I did like the characters for the most part. I mean, th there's only so much you can work with, like, people aren't going to be, like, spilling their life stories while they're, like, stuck with a bunch of other strangers, so, you know, that was pretty accurate to how people would be in real life, mm -hmm. I feel. Um, After months together yeah like some of them you know maybe don't know how long they've been there or how long they've been without seeing you know other people or like a sandwich who knows who knows i think they did that really well that they gave all the information because you worried throughout the movie like are we going to get the right amount of origin story there was they kept precluding back to a certain a certain event that happened with the main character in her past but you never got like a clear picture of it but it actually it resolves it towards the end of the movie and you kind of get all the information you're looking for throughout the movie by the end of the movie you know everything you want to know which I worried about the first like hour and change of the movie like are we gonna is this gonna be one of those oh this is open to interpretation kind of things or is it gonna be actual resolution hard facts this is what happened you know yada yada so yeah, it gave you like little snippets and then finally you got the whole story yeah. you were like oh oh all right so um i loved that forest it was beautiful it was yeah. so beautiful, so green. I wonder if they actually filmed this in Ireland. I didn't even check. <laughs> I would but hope so. It was, that was too beautiful. I mean, they, they say they say the hills of Ireland are green like emeralds. And that was... I mean, the setting was beautiful. The, cin the cinematography was great. Yeah. This was a very well put together movie. It's an, it's an M. Night Shyamalan movie. It is visually cap captivating. And he what produced? Yes, it? he produced it. She directed it. How cool must that have been, like, to watch your kid make their own film? And, mm -hmm. You know, you still get some kind of creative say, I'm sure. But, yeah. Like, I'm but sure... you're probably just like going, no, we should probably do it this way. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sure that they went into it knowing, you know, M Night Shyamalan is so famous for like the whole twist thing. So maybe not uh, push that so hard through his kid's art, which was mm -hmm. nice. Like, there were some twisty parts, but it wasn't like, oh, like how the village was or the Sixth Sense. So, what didn't you like about this movie um, that you can talk about? Without giving a lot away, I would... I'm just going to throw my phone down. I would say, um, uh, uh, if you're new here, I'm a big, big fan of any practical effect. And I was kind of hoping for more of that in the film mm -hmm. uh, rather than a lot of CGI. Um, like like always, these kind of... Any kind of movie, honestly, is not geared towards people that have a, a visual deficit. So it was a little tough some parts. You know, if they were showing, like, a night scene panning through the forest where you're supposed to, you know be anticipating that the watchers are coming and he's reacting and I'm like not to seeing point, anything trying to point stuff out I was like oh one was crawling through there it kind of looked like creepy like it was on all fours you know da, 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 da. yeah but which like I get I, am, I, I get why they do that I it am, just it's a bummer sometimes I am your cinema seeing eye dog you're my seeing eye dog in general I feel like which um, I appreciate <laughs> 
so for me, it was um, the way I can make it the most general. The event that they kept giving snippets of for Mina, the main char char character, when they finally tell you, they show you the whole thing, it's kind of dumb. <laughs> it's it's kind of dumb. A little bit. Like, it's like, you know, it's, you thought it was going to be something more dramatic. I don't know. Yeah, something more dramatic like that. But, um, that, and it was like, for me, the, the, there's a bar scene that I just don't think belonged in the movie. It was kind of it was just kind random. of random. Like, I understand they were trying to like build characters, I but like I just I just didn't see how that did anything for the rest of the movie. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's also, why like splitting hairs. Yeah, I feel like we definitely called the 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 big bombshell of the film, but like to be fair... I don't think they were trying to hide it. I don't know that they were trying to hide it. They were giving a lot of clues. And um, we watch a lot of movies. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to, like, pull a fast one and make yeah. it legitimate. You know, like, you could just, like, oh, it was it was Uncle Carl. But, like, he was never, ever mentioned in the movie. So, you know, I, yeah. I think if you're paying attention, you're going to catch on. If you kind of know how the, the formula works, maybe you'll catch on. But I don't feel like it necessarily ruins anything or takes a whole lot away from the movie. So there's that. You know, take that as you will. Um, what else is there? Well, what, what would you rate the movie? What would I rate the movie? I'd probably give it mm, like a 2.5 out of 5. Um... I would probably watch it again at home just so like I can be you know that far away from the TV and maybe see the things that I missed and I'd be able to rewind it at least and be like oh it's over there you know that kind of thing I would probably rewatch it just to you know see if there were any other little things I missed that you know were alluding to where you know where it ended up How about I you? would probably give I, I would give this like a three out of five there's some historical and when you watch it it'll make sense there's some historical sense to it that they did a really good job of making it accurate so I appreciate that um, and there's you know little tidbits of stuff that really had a cultural and histor historical accuracy for me which I greatly appreciated that like this was you know this was really cool to go and see I don't know if I would have paid to see it in the theaters but it is an M. Night Shyamalan movie so you know it's usually worth a shot but I would definitely watch it again once it comes to streaming once we can watch it from home once I don't have to <laughs> drive 50 miles to a th <laughs> to a theater and uh you know but i uh i really you know i really it, it i i went to the movie tired and i didn't fall asleep so it it's i really like the fact that it was really like there was interesting stuff throughout the entire movie that kept your intrigue and it kept your it kept your eye so and I, I really liked how the movie always made you looking in the look in the back, background of it, you know, just because you never know. It also reminded me of the scene from it, where the old woman was like shh, 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 behind. Oh, <laughs> oh, when she's creeping in the background, you're just like, what the hell was that? <laughs> like, there's a couple of times. So my advice to people watching this movie is, when it's a still frame shot, and it's just the woods look beyond the fo the foreground of the shot look in the background there's a lot of stuff you're gonna miss like her i am excited to watch it again to see if there's anything i missed but i will definitely be waiting for streaming to come up all right um what do we do now it's been so long since we've done i know we have to do that oh 
I would like to give a special shout out to my clinical manager, Tanya, for <laughs> allowing me to uh, work remotely in the afternoon today and then work remotely tomorrow. So I would be able to uh, attend the, the pre-screening. <laughs> I, I really appreciate it. It's and past her bedtime. It's so past my bedtime. I'm going to do so much work tomorrow. Don't even worry about it. Um, thank you. <laughs> um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you. Uh, give us a like if you liked the video. Leave us a comment. Once you've seen the movie, what are your thoughts? If you've read the book, please leave a comment letting us know how accurate um, the screenplay is to the book, what your thoughts are on the book, uh, do you recommend it, do you feel like there was more character, there's probably more character development in the I mean, book, the, for the, sure. The book's always better. Yeah, yeah. Read, I, kids. I wonder, like, would it take anything away, like, having watched the movie first? You know, is there an order you recommend? Love to know. Leave us a comment. I do like watching the movie first because then I can envision the characters better. That's true. That's so, true. That usually helped. I did that with Harry Potter. I did too. I did too. Um, uh, what else is there? Thank you to the Far Side Network yes, again. Thank you so much. We appreciate you guys. Justin, we appreciate you uh, for thinking for thinking of us when you got these screening passes. Thank you so much. We had a great time. We got a giant Ghostbusters bucket and a Ghostbusters like cup because we've got pop popcorn and a soda and they sell the Ghostbusters stuff there. So we had a lot of fun. This was a great opportunity. We hope to do more of these in the future. Wink, wink, Justin. Wink. Love you. Um, so, you know, hopefully we'll be able to get more advanced screening for upcoming horror thriller movies. You know, uh, I can't wait for that. Yeah, that would be um, awesome. Make sure to follow us on social media. Where can they find you? You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Reanimator. You can also find the audio versions of the reviews um, on iTunes. Thank you again to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. You can find me on Kick when I'm streaming. Uh, under Repeat Viking. You can also find me on TikTok and Twitter, both Repeat Viking. So, that's it. Yeah. Oh, and I got a t-shirt, too. We got flashlights, all branded. Super yeah. cool. Yeah. So <laughs> exciting. So exciting. Yeah, we got we got swag. Yeah, Oh, my awesome. God, we got swag. We got swag. So, pictures of the t-shirt, the flashlights, and pictures from uh, the pictures from the pre-screening that we went to they had a whole movie poster everything that that will follow probably after this so thanks guys and we'll see you next time bye